as you know, teens are teenagers are changing, and uh, and so the person, the little kid you seen that was uh, five, six, you know, years old, elementary school is different when they hit sixth grade. Actually, it started getting different a little earlier than that, but you really see the noticeable changes around that sixth grade, seventh grade, especially seventh and eighth grade. You start seeing those changes, and so that's some of the things we want to help parents, giving them some tools, and also for parents to be able to share their experiences with other parents, because as you know, all of them, everybody goes through a different uh, phase with their kids at different times. Parents are trying to be teachers and parents and it's making tensions high. Mm -hmm. So we just wanna provide a space for them to let them know that we're here for them and to give them a way forward, you know, to help uh, encourage them and give them strategies to encourage them. And to piggyback off of what Dr. Smith just said, I was thinking of coping mechanisms. Um, right now is an excellent time to build resiliency. Um, and that is something that as parents, we're learning about ourselves and we need to instill those things in our children. And I think this support group, the hope and desire is that we'll be able to translate that in a manner that will be palatable for not only the parents, but providing them with skills that they're going to be able to now translate into activities that they can do at home with their children. I think that is the, the biggest thing. It's, and it's an opportunity for them to have a forum that they can express some of their concerns Some of the things that the three of us have seen in terms of we know that's needed is, you know, one of the biggest thing is, you know, who is this child, you know, and then we're looking at the perspectives of adolescent development. Um, the other one is learning how to support our kids without enabling them. Um, in other words, taking, because that's going to lend to building that resiliency and grit into our children when we don't take their difficult moments away from them, but we see them and walk them through it. Uh, the other piece is building a relationship with your teen. You know, I knew my child when, I know my child period, but I, I, it's, a, it's a different knowing of them when they were just little children to when they went through teenage and now they're adults. And so you can't, you can't treat your child the same as they were when they were a child and they're an adult. My relationship with my kids now is yeah, I'm their parent, but it's more so also a friend uh, of someone who can walk along with them and help them in, in times. Um, learning how to listen, pick up the cues from, from what's going on in their life, you know, instead of just dismissing it as, um, hey, they don't know what they're talking about, but they're, they are. They're, they're, they're giving you some hints, hey, this is going on in my life. I need some support. Um, and also helping our kids recognize their purpose. Uh, and, you know, the direction they're going in, not to give them per se, okay, this is the purpose I have for you. No, but helping them to navigate through what they feel their purpose is. And, and as an adolescent, as a young child in school, hey, why am I here? You know, what's, what, what should be my agenda while I'm here? And, uh, you know, those kind of things that, like that. We want to be able to help our parents be able to navigate those because it's difficult. And like Dr. Smith said, you got parents, they're teachers now, they're counselors, they're, they're everything now <laughs> to the child, you know? And so we want to make sure that we're able to support that parent because my hat goes off to every parent that is doing this work. I mean, and truthfully, they're going to come out of this to me being the experts around a lot of this because they deal with it every single day. Because mm -hmm. our goal isn't to sit and provide therapy or treatment. We just want to provide a, a, a space, a safe space to have some real honest dialogue about what they're going through, but also, as Janine said, given, given some skills and given some, some certain advice or opinions that we can offer to them and uh, that can help them navigate that. And they may be able to give it to one another as well. That's what we hope. We want that to be able to happen. Yeah. Is, you know, adolescence is really a tricky time for teachers to deal with and parents to deal with. And, you know, the, the, the things that present themselves, oftentimes parents find themselves not really knowing what to do. So that's what makes this group unique and I think special um, because it, it helps 
us to figure out how to build that independence with our kids, as well as being a parent. You know, how do you do that when your kids are starting to get older? So that's what makes this group really special. So for, for me, one of the activities that I would do is I would go on walks for my daughter. And this almost turned into like a therapy session where I allowed her to pick the subject matter that we were going to talk about. And I didn't care what it was, but we were just going to talk. And it, it gave me an opportunity to hear what was happening with her. And I think that really helped me as a parent to really identify areas and other things that I could do with her. Um, and I think just simple things, returning back to the basics, like games at the dinner table, um, finding activities around the house where you can cook together. But it, it gave us opportunity to, to pretty much put away electronics and come back and, and relate to one another. And I think for me, that was huge. And I've found that many of the students that, because I work within a district and I have a very good rapport with many of the middle school students and I'm finding that this is something that has helped them, it's, it's sustained them through this time. Those children who have been able to have those types of relationships with their parents. It's something very simple that we can all do, but oftentimes we forget to go back to the basics. So those are some of the just simple ideas of, of just interacting with your children in a way that allows it to be led by them. It's, it's child driven, you know, and that's, that's huge for me. I, I really believe that their perspective is just as important as our perspectives of, as parents. 